All right, uh, the Zimbabwe matter and the issue, in fact, of a video that went viral depicting the health MEC uh, in Limpopo, uh, Dr. Bobi Ramatou, of course, uh, sparked a storm uh, across the two nations. Let's now weigh in on this and discuss this further. We're now joined via Zoom by Charles uh, Mutama. He's the patriotic Zimbabwe's party president. So thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Firstly, let's get your reaction um, as the patriotic Zimbabwe's party to the now viral video I'm sure you've seen, you know, depicting the utterances made by the MEC for Health in Limpopo. Oh, thank you very much, Unati, and thank you, SABC, for this opportunity that you have afforded me to weigh in on this uh, uh, Dr. Popi uh, Ramatua's uh, saga involving a, a Zimbabwean a patient, allegedly. Uh, as Patriotic Zimbabweans Party, we view this issue uh, as uh, uh, an opportunity to interrogate a number of issues that um, are afflicting our two nations. Uh, at a broader level, as Patriotic Zimbabweans Party, we view this saga as a platform for us to look into the issue of the unresolved colonial boundaries of the 1884 Berlin Conference. That's number one. Number two, we need to look at the problems that afflict our two nations as former colonies of the Dutch and the British, uh, respectively. Therefore, we need to look into the issue of uh, reparations for these two nations from their former colonial masters so that we can equalize economic uh, opportunities that our people have in both countries. So we are looking at the De Beers com company, we are looking at the British South Africa company uh, that uh, were complicit in the underdevelopment of our two nations. So furthermore, we are also looking at the issue uh, of um, the underdevelopment of Africa in the context of how uh, debt, uh, which was imposed on our nations, uh, particularly by the IMF, the World Bank, uh, and of course, by the Chinese, is uh, continue to wreak havoc in our two economies. So we are looking at external factors that affect our two nations, uh, the encroaching Chinese hegemony uh, in our two countries uh, that uh, speak volumes to the issue of underdevelopment in our, in our two nations. Then we also look at the issue of um, uh, black consciousness and pan-Africanism. Uh, this issue exposes the near death of pan-Africanism uh, in, uh, in, in, our, in, our, in our continent uh, in particular, and the African diaspora. So we need to interrogate these issues uh, using uh, our, our luminaries who showed us uh, how we can move forward in terms of uh, developing our nations and advancing our civilizations. Uh, when I mention our, uh, these luminaries, I am referring to uh, Marcus Garvey, Kwame Nkrumah, uh, Walter Sisulu, Oliver Tambo, uh, Nelson Mandela, uh, Steve Bantu Biko, uh, Chris Hani, and so on. So this matter, I, I will, I'm not going to lecture South Africans uh, because I respect and I pride in our, in our fellow brothers and sisters in South Africa, and I respect their intellect. Uh, so it is up to South Africans to interrogate this issue uh, uh, internally so that they can come up with a, with a way forward. However, I can speak to Zimbabwean issues that uh, have led to this uh, poor woman whom we uh, witnessed in that video, uh, which is uh, very unfortunate. Uh, that uh, woman in the video, who is allegedly an immigrant from Zimbabwe, uh, is a victim of uh, 
the issues that I've uh, mentioned earlier on related to uh, Africa's underdevelopment, number one. Number two, that uh, issue of that uh, poor woman, my fellow countrymen, uh, and, and uh, uh, my heart goes to you, uh, is also related to how we are self-governing ourselves as African nations. So in Zimbabwe, there is a need and a clear need for all stakeholders to come together and behind closed doors solve our challenges amicably. And these challenges are related to corruption, uh, are related to state capture, are related to lack of accountability. Mr. Mutama, can I just interject there? Let me come in there, Mr. Mutama, uh, just briefly. You mentioned a laundry yeah. list of things that could be done in as far as South Africa is concerned. Uh, a lot of the, your, your, your citizens from Zimbabwe, of course, including South Africans, have condemned the utterances made by the MEC of Health. But, of course... The, the Zimbabweans particularly are also calling for honest engagements and honest discussions about what is transpiring in Zimbabwe in as far as healthcare is concerned. And also, of course, other things that, that matter for the people of Zimbabwe. I know and I note that your party is currently based in the U.S. Uh, surely there needs to be some form of a party's stepping up, some form of particularly in the form of yourselves being in the country and solving those problems. What's the likelihood of those conversations that have been happening for decades speeding up and addressing some of the, the, the issues at hand at the moment? Oh, thank you for that um, uh, excellent question. There is a need for a paradigm shift in how we handle our internal uh, political affairs. There is a need for, for dialogue in Zimbabwe. There is a need for consensus amongst all stakeholders in Zimbabwe, political parties, civic societies, churches, and uh, interest groups. So that is the way forward that uh, uh, Patriotic Zimbabweans Party uh, see as the only way forward, uh, the, the need to end toxic politics in Zimbabwe. All right, Mr. Mutama, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And I see we might have lost his video link there. That is Mr. Charles Mutama. He's coming to us live there from the U.S. Uh, Patriotic Zimbabweans Party president.